You might notice no. that I kind of rushed up halfway through and put my name up. That was for two reasons. One, I found out about this about 20 minutes before it started and cancelled my dinner plans. <laughs> <laughs> Two, um, I really particular. I mean, I've enjoyed listening to everybody, but particularly Peter kind of rang some bells for me because um, I don't know if any any of you are familiar with my now boss James Gumble. I know one or two of you have said that you've met him previously, but it kind of sounds like where our company originate, originated is quite similar from to your origins in that we're all about connecting people and making sure people who are trying to expand and achieve new things are put in front of the right organisations to help them, which is kind of why I was thinking this would be a really good opportunity to <laughs> explain what we do, particularly since as of I think the beginning of this week-ish we are now officially based in Farsic Labs. So, hey. hi, we're going to be about a bit more, although you may have noticed that I'm not local. <laughs> um, I'm over from Yorkshire just till the end of the week, but yeah, Expand is now kind of based around here, if you want to hear any more. What we do is help companies who kind of have their own service, their own product already developed, I'm kind of ad-libbing here obviously, um, already developed, um, we help them expand to new markets. So this may be kind of within Ireland potentially, but we do have an international focus. And the way this began, as Peter was saying earlier, kind of, I'm going to tell you the story of James. <laughs> James has been travelling around the globe, originally through data and IT, for about a decade and at some point he realised that all the people that he was meeting weren't like he was meeting people from small companies who had fantastic ideas and then he was going out to places like San Francisco, tech hub of the, US, the USA and was meeting members of the equivalent of Invest and I from around Europe who were just kind of having coffee, he was just end up ending up having coffee with them and he was thinking, if I can put these people together, just imagine the things that they could do, just imagine kind of the profit explosion that could be made, just imagine kind of the connections that I could help people make here. And then the other side to James is the data side, where he saw all the data that he could collect on markets around the world and use that to tell people analyze that himself and use that to tell people exactly where they could take their product, their business. So, so far, we have focused on working with digital products just because that's where quite a lot of our background lies. I should also mention we've got a very, very diverse team, not just in kind of background and work. I mean, my background, I'm going to be upfront right now, isn't that technical. Um, I previously worked in healthcare and before that journalism. I'm very much a kind of talky, fluffy, but James calls me fluffy. <laughs> so um, my, I heard the expression Rosetta Stone earlier. I work with a lot of techie guys and I'm trying my best to, do, to explain what they do to people from not necessarily that techie background. Um, but I'm just kind of one of a number of different people, artsy people. We've got some fantastic designers who are going to be based right here in Varsit. Um, and we've got a lot of kind of programmers, technological people who've all come together, many of whom are really fantastic contractors who've donated time because they actually believe this could really work, who are coming together to help kind of organisations who've got their idea, who've got their product, take it wider, <coughs> take it further, know where to take it further and then know how to take it there. So for example, if if, for example, the fantastic product that Maeve was talking about, if you wanted to take that elsewhere, we could evaluate within five minutes 32 markets around the globe and look at where the best market for you might be. So I have history in the NHS. I'm kind of talking to you because I, I personally have history within the NHS in England. And if I were to come at this with my personal knowledge, talking to a lot of the Vanguard projects, I don't know if you're aware, of all the Vanguard projects in England, kind of proper innovations in healthcare. If I were to take my personal knowledge and James's ability to bring kind of the global analysis 
that he could do, 32 markets around the world, within each of those, within 32 countries, he can look at 10 markets in each country within five minutes and tell you, right, I suggest that you look at here, 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 here. He can order them, he can say, this is probably where you will have the most contacts that will be able to help you sell your product, help you properly say what you can do with it and make sure it hits the right market and helps people. Alternatively, if you feel that you could move into this market, this would be a second best bet. He can order that for you. He can find you, we can together find you all the right contacts in that market that you can instantly go to them. You can say, hi, I feel you'd be really interested in this. This can help you for this reason. I know that you have a background in this, so perhaps you'd be interested in it for that reason. And down to, I know the name of your dog has something to do with a bone in a finger. <laughs> That is where we're aiming to get people. We're aiming to get people in the right market and give them the information that they need to take their product further and as far as it can go. Also worth mentioning, um, uh, to this end, um, we are currently helping with trade missions. I don't know if anybody... Basically, if, if you want to expand to another country, um, we recommend, obviously, visiting that country. And one of the services that we provide is kind of helping people to go and explore the world and make the right connections while they're there. So at the moment, in a couple of weeks, we've got a trade mission coming up to San Francisco where we have basically planned itineraries out for the couple of people who are going along with us this time around. I don't know if anybody's aware of digital DNA or, yeah. Um, we're helping digital DNA go out to San Francisco and throughout the week, we have put them in front of We've sent them to a couple of different conferences. We've put them in front of key European connections from all the different trade organisations across Europe. So at certain points during that week, they will essentially be sat around a table with people from France, people from Germany, people from all these different countries who otherwise they'd be going out to Germany to meet potentially or going out to France to meet. So by going to San Francisco, they can hit, they can hit all these different countries around Europe and hit the American market as well, the tech hub of the USA. So this is the kind of thing that we're hoping to help people with.